Hello, I would like to welcome everyone to the webinar prepared by the Noise Control Building Materials Market Group at Kinetics Noise Control. This market group specializes in floors, ceilings, and walls. My name is David King, and I will be the presenter for this webinar. My role within the market group is project coordinator. I work alongside of the Kinetics rep to produce shop drawings for the specific products for the project. At the end of the presentation, we will have time for questions. If at any point during the presentation I ha you have questions, please put them in the chat. Handling your questions during the presentation is Tanya Levine, who manages our sales development team. I see that we have different people of different backgrounds joining us today. There are a number of acoustical consultants, architects, contractors, and sales representatives. If at any point I use terminology that you're unfamiliar with, please ask Tanya in the chat and she will either address it or we can revisit it at the end during questions. Here at Kinetics Noise Control, we do appreciate feedback on how we can better serve you and your project. If there is something that we touch on here or another subject in general that you would like a deeper in-depth presentation on, please let us know. We currently have two webinars in the work to be presented in the upcoming weeks. At this time, we would like to bring up our poll for your input on which you would like to see first, which, is, which would be appreciated. We have reading and understanding the kit pad deflection charts. Here we will better understand how to read and implement the results of the kit pad isolator. Also, we have balance, how to ensure a level ceiling and floor and to avoid unexpected deflections. Please let us know which one you would like to be covered first, but also know that both of them will be covered in time. Thank you for your input. If for any reason you missed a section of this presentation, please visit our website after the presentations have been completed. There you can find a live recorded version of this presentation for you to review and revisit. I would like everyone to make sure that they are muted to minimize interruptions for everyone. In today's presentation, we will be covering and discussing debugging and streamlining the isolation construction process. The topics and sections we are going to cover are constructability. What does it mean and why is it important to the construction process? Review for information. This will cover the basic information we require to do an in-depth review of your project. This information can vary depending upon floor versus wall versus ceilings and other conditions, all of which your local sales representative can assist you with to ensure that you have gathered the correct information. Alternative details. Here we will cover and demonstrate one of the many advantages of working with the Kinetics team in creating alternative details. We will review a detail provided to Kinetics and discuss ways to bring the architect's or consultant's vision to life. Projects that needed Kinetics Noise Control's input in the design phase. This section was prepared by Eric Fenton. Eric is also a project coordinator specializing in the New York area. He having facilitated our New York area specifically for the past two years plus. These are firsthand experiences on those projects that benefited due to our services. So what does constructability mean? Well, when I hear constructability, I think of projects or builds that are being designed and have been thought through where the details have been drawn to a point that it is constructible. The definition of constructability is as follows. So why does Kinetics care? It's simple, because we care about you and your project. We want to see less delays, revisions, and change orders just as much as you do. We want to make sure that our products are being used to their maximum efficiency. It is also important to us that you have the best experience working with us and our representatives team. 
The following list is some of the information we require to do our due diligence in reviewing the project. AutoCAD drawings. These are invaluable to reviewing the scope of work. AutoCAD drawings contain smart information in them that are not available in the PDF drawings. Through the AutoCAD files, we can better understand the architect's design. PDF drawings. These are valuable for kinetics to review details and refer to schedules. A list of at least the architectural is required. Depending upon your project, mechanicals might need to be provided as well. Fixture equipment, weights, and locations. Exactly what it says. When creating a shop drawing for your isolation project, it is important that we know the weight and location of anything that will impose loads upon the floor or ceiling. Knowing this early can lead to solutions for equipment that is extra heavy and needs special attention. Chandeliers and ducts are a few of these items. The other things that might be required are structural drawings. Do the beams of your building come into effect with the isolation scope of work? Your local representative can assist you in better understanding what is needed from this category for your project. This detail was provided to Kinetics for an isolated ceiling project. As noted, the ceiling assembly is shown going through an I-beam. This is an example of a detail that is not constructible. This next detail is a revision to the previous one. This detail appears to be constructible. However, remember that it is an isolated ceiling. This detail has what I like to call an acoustical short or a short circuit. The two vertical pieces of framing on either side of the beam do not show an acoustical element between the structure above. This would cause the noise and vibrations to travel from the ceiling straight into the structure above. At this point in the review process, I had drawn two examples of how this condition could be handled to ensure the constructability and acousticability of the project remain intact. The purpose of these details is to be presented to the design team and consultants on how a situation like this can be handled based upon our experience. Again, it is important to note that we are not trying to change a design, but more or less to present ways of bringing the designer acoustical consultant's vision to life. For this example, I believe the architect along with the acoustical consultant chose to go with the detail on the right. To come full circle on why Kinetics cares about you and your project, it's also about saving you time and money. This is, this is an example of what happens when Kinetics is unable to obtain the information required to do a thorough review. These RFI drawings are an effective means of, of obtaining the required information. However, if the required material and information had been provided, this RFI process could have been bypassed, saving time and money. This section was prepared by Eric Fenton, and we will cover projects that needed Kinetics Noise Control's input during the, the, during the design phase. An oversight overseen is money made. Many times during the design phase of a project, before the vendors are even queried for their product information, decisions and guesstimates are made that can ultimately require expensive change orders. Oftentimes, this information falls outside the typical scope of architects and acoustical consultants prior to the vendor submittals being received. Kinetics Noise Control and our reps have a record of design criteria and situations which have caused special consideration and product applications that can, if queried, cast light on project requirements prior to the job going to bid, thereby reducing unexpected cost, delays, and ahead of installation. The issue in this screenshot, each yellow rectangle represents a load on an elevated isolated slab of 11,000 pounds, 27,000 pounds, or even 43,000 pounds. The implication of these loads on an elevated slab were not realized during the design phase due to some of the Edo sequences and isolation construction. Kinetics issued an RFI for the riser weight the first time the drawings were reviewed, but no one had the information at that time. If the kinetics rep had been consulted during the design phase, 
The issue of how to support this type of load would have been identified and would have been a part of the budget and bid documents. When the information was provided to Kinetics, we developed the solution within 11 days for a seismically restrained isolator for the riser. The delay and change order could have been anticipated had Kinetics been part of the been part of the of the design phase discussion on isolation requirements and costs. Some of our custom solutions are used repeatedly, some only for the project of which they were developed. Kinetics Noise Control is in the position of offering the widest variety of isolation solutions. We offer spring isolation, elastomeric, polyurethane, and fiberglass, so we are not limited in the type of solutions that we can provide. As we sell all types of isolation material, we are able to offer the best solution for the right reasons. In this project, the structural slab was specified for a load far below what the isolation slab with its supported equipment required. The slab thickness in some of the areas almost tripled in thickness due to weight and lateral forces, and the structural slab below required reinforcing. There was a year's worth of work in place and the, re and the remediation was a big change order and delay in the project. The first change in approach to solving the loads was to change the isolator type from a jack slab to a rim roll rollout isolation material system isolated slab. A jack slab has a limitation of only 3,300 to 3,500 pounds capacity per canister. And to handle loads above that often require nesting canisters too close together. An isolated pouring form, however, allowed close nesting of the isolators, thus allowing the proper capacity to be provided without compromising the integrity of the slab. Kinetics offered two additional solutions for the isolated pouring form, which aided in making the best decision for the project. In this case too, consulting a Kinetics rep in the design phase to review isolation constructability could have saved months of delay in determining the best way to remediate the situation. Engaging Kinetics reps early in the project can help identify constructability issues and challenges ahead of time so that the project can move forward without as many interruptions. Generally speaking, if you have any load exceeding 4,000 pounds in a small footprint, it is wise and most likely profitable to contact your local Kinetics rep to review what may be required prior to sending out to bid or bidding the project itself mechanical and HVAC equipment are usually not an issue, but be aware of retractable seatings, isolated risers, heavy equipment, theater equipment, and specialty construction to name a few. I'm sure I know what you're thinking right now. How do I get in touch with my local rep? And I don't know how to do that. Well, contacting your local rep is vital. On our website, under contact, you can see local representatives. Once you have clicked that, you will see this page. Under location, please enter the location of the project. Under select noise type, select floors, ceilings, and partitions, create quiet, and then find rep. Now you will see the company's name, contact, a link to their website and various methods of reaching your local rep. This concludes our webinar and begins the questions. Here you have two ways of reaching the, the noise control building materials group. After the questions, we will reveal the results of our poll. Tanya, do we have any questions? I must have done such a wonderful job that we have no questions. I would like to take a, just a quick moment to see if any questions are coming in. Seeing none, I would like to, at this time, bring the results of the polls so we can see what will be covered next. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Wow. We have a 50-50 split of the polls. So, I think we have to take another thing, and we might have to go with balance, um, reading and understanding the kit pad. Then after that, we will cover balancing. So, I hope you join us for both of them. I would like to thank everyone for joining us this afternoon, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Thank you, and goodbye. Hold on, we have a question. Please bear with me. Okay, the question is, when do you consider to begin specialized curves for RTU or other roof mounted equipment? When do you begin to consider? Um, when it comes to like ceiling curves and other roof isolated equipment, sometimes that can be handled by our HVAC marker group as well, um, depending upon the application of the product you have. So I don't know if I, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily something that I can comment on right here and right now, but I do think it'd be wise that we would be able to be able to, that we would be able to answer your inquiry if you just contact Kinetics and we learn more about the project. And from there, we can make sure that you get in the right market group and that your project is being handled properly. I think we had another one come in. Do you see a trend of projects coming out for bid that are not completely designed? Putting the responsible for design on kinetics noise control. Yes, that that that's a good question. And I'm gonna open it up for um Tanya to comment as well. I think a lot of the times that we the a lot of projects that we see problematic, um, I think is what Eric covered is when you have retractable seating. Um, extremely large equipment, um, theaters, they've got the risers, they've got the heavy um, theater chairs that are in there. Um, other times it's how to handle infield conditions, like the detail that we showed. It's how does our ceiling interact with structure? How does it interact with the other trades? Because we don't want to change the way another tradesman's doing their job, we wanna be adaptable to the way that the situations are out there. So we like to be last in that aspect. Um, it's a lot easier for us to make accommodations to other trades than it is for other trades to make accommodations for us. Um, a big one for me, and we will cover this in the balance webinar, is when HVAC is being supported off of an isolated ceiling. Um, that there's a lot of special consideration that needs to go into that. And that's something that we will dive deep in, on, on the balance uh, webinar. So I hope you uh, stay tuned to that. And again, if, if you have any specific questions that I, I can't answer generally here, please give us a call. We are more than happy, give us a call, send us an email. We are more than happy to dive deep into that project and, and review drawings with you or if you know of one coming down the pipeline, what are some red flags that you want to take a look at? We can show you past examples of, hey, this is how we handled that situation. Here's how we handled this situation. Or, you know, we had to get the certain tradesmen involved early on this one. So that's how I would handle that. Um, it's, it's a lot of case by case situations. So constant contact with Kinetics or your local rep um, will save you as much headache as possible in the future. Good question, though. That was a great question. All right. Again, if you have anything, please feel free to contact us. We are always eager to talk to you and about your project, saving you time and money. Thank you, everyone, for coming out and joining us this evening. And I hope to see you on the next one.